So after the double play, he's trying to pick up his teammate and tie this game. That's hard hit on the line. He can't get Tied there. It's, it's a base hit. Runner from third comes Such across. Jeans We're in the tied building. at one. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the... MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport. Juan Soto, always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, but it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. First pitch coming at you right after the break. And towing the slab, the guy with the big yacker, the yellow hammer, Uncle Charlie, Adam Wainwright, and Singy can so meet these days when he's more pitch to contact type of guy. 3.1. Yeah, Boogie doesn't rely too much on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels. Going get up some against the San Diego Padres. That can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can be starting out with a They're in line for quality weird start. check Let's swing. See what he's this one. Yes, it's curve working out early. It's pulling him early now. The 0 1. Look at that. Swings through that. Oh, two. Spoils the two strike pitch, pitch and he'll outside. see another. Kicks and deals. And that's too high. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. Fights that one away, still one and two. We are pretty much one more month. Of going into the playoff in the postseason. The wind and the pitch. And Swings I can say, for the you take a seat. Couldn't catch up to and the heater. We pretty much got the division. So here's won. the Padres DH. Alfonso like Rivas. Won. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. That's going to be an easy clip for us. If we have no competition in our division right now. In video game, I'm talking about IRL. There, they're they're, they're 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 doing bad, but they're picking it back together. Way out front for strike two. Good late movement on that sinker right there. It's right where you want to get it to get that swing over. Right the top. now, we are in playoff. The pitch. You swing take a seat, and a miss boy. for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're Almost dealing with in the number playoff. three hitter. Any After distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead high? of it being okay. a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. After I checked the schedule, I was like, dang. On the ground, right side, We're almost in our last into month. the outfield, base hit. And that extends the inning. Batting four, the third base hit, Matt Carpenter. Now it's Matt Carpenter, fifth in home runs in the National League right now. Matty, base your former team. Oh my Runs goodness, I left the hanger of the sinker. Got away with it. Squeezes it, and the inning is over. And now the Cardinals get their first shot at it here. No score. Today on the hill, Blake Snell. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's Where more pressure, more he's more calm That's and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, 
he gets looser the ball comes out of his hand with more life and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and, and get his team back, back in the dugout. In the NL. The but they're in the wild part. Strike on the inside corner. Chrissy looking at Blake Snell's resume, a former first round pick by the Rays in, in 2011. The wild but really blossomed quickly. Cy Young in 2018, he was an all-star that year too. And of course, pitched for the Rays against the Dodgers in the 2020 World Series. The 2-1. Wow. Swings and fouls, one off. Got away with that. Full count. Full count now. Yeah, this guy really has solid stuff and can stand up when he's effective getting ahead of hitters early in the count. When he doesn't, those outings that maybe should have gone seven, maybe eight innings, end up being five, maybe six. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Now at the plate, Brendan Donovan. Going one. Don't be, why are you blaming your bat, dude? Don't be blaming your bat. And now the count is even. Oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And now the lefty. Yeah, that's outside. All right. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside. He still to be can't able find a strike zone early in this inning. to go back there later in this count. And the pitch. Yep. Oh, Chris, we, with that distraction got no and a yet. speedy guy at first, he can't find he his a favorable own. hitter's count. No, if Might nothing be a back -to -back else, walk I mean, here. this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. The pitch. There's a strike. 3 1 count. I'm saying to slider. himself, I've got to get a fastball here. Just spins a get me over breaking ball to bring the count. Look at that. And that's ball four. So here we go again. I could have swung, but the pirate would have turned into a double play. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these balls had pressure and stress to be on the team. Here's Nolan Arenado. Wow. Foul ball. Why are we swinging if he's struggling to find the zone? Finding the strike zone. And the pitch. Hit on the ground, might be two. One at second, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. That is good. The first base is Paul Goldsmith. Okay, Aaron, now that you killed our First inning rally to score first. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Strike one. One time I should have swung. Oh, snap. Gorman, the, the Arenado, and Goldschmidt and Contreras, they're catching up to you with home runs, man. They're catching up to you. Two outs and one in scoring position. Now one and one. Chopper right side. Kim tosses to first. That's the inning. That's it's good on inning, guys. Good inning number two in St. Louis. No score. The pitch. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. Type of speed you have, button like that. And yeah, the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Rusty Valentine doing the umpiring behind the dish for us. Maybe the best name in the league. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's a solid one, no doubt. I mean, who's better to ask than you? I kind of wonder if Rusty is his actual name or just a nickname. Yeah, no clue. Mm. Yeah, there's a the ball. Miss. Anyways, Rusty's got a good zone, very good on the corners of the plate, but he'll give pitchers a little bit above the letters and below the knees if they're earning it. Fouls it off, still one and two. Here comes a pitch. Bro. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Wayne right, man. You have no top speed. Blow anybody out. On the ground, right side, Donovan throws to first. Yeah. One up, one down. That is it. The second base is Haas Young Kim. So digging in now for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. That catches the top part of the zone, and it's 0 and 1. I O two. One down, base is empty. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And y'all just swinging. The O two. And now one and two. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. The one-two. And that one hit to first. Two weak ground. He takes it on his own. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Batting seven. The center fielder, number one, Trent Grisham. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. That's what Matt Carpenter does. No batting gloves. In there for strike one. So the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Aye. And that one in the air center field. Carlson Aye. makes the grab. And that is that. Nothing doing there for the Friars. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. He's been one of the best in the sport against lefties, and yet the righties give him trouble. You know, you don't want to be labeled as that guy, but the numbers say what they say. And the 1-0. Not wow. the best swing that time from the first round pick. No, oh, he's a good player, but if he wants to be great, he's going to have to figure it out against right-handed pitchers. There's so many right-handers in the game that you're going to see him one after another. So you would imagine with that many looks, that, Boog, that the adjustments it's got not. to be coming soon. One up, one down. That exists. That exists. The catcher, catcher. Wilson. Wilson. And up John to hit Contreras. is Wilson Contreras. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. The 1-0. Yeah, and because Why? he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. The Y to kick the pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. When you have a catcher that can throw Throwing like my that, finger. a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. Right side, hard hit. He steps on the bag. Two up, two down. Batting step back. The designated hitter. Tyler. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Oh. 
when you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical games, things man, really well, off. look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. And that is cut on and missed. And that is strike one. Next offering in the dirt. And it's two and one. You know, Chris, Blake does everything right-handed except for everything he does while playing baseball. And now two and two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great what? job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. That one well upstairs. And now it's three and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two outs. Gets right. a piece and stays alive. Here comes a 3 2. And that one Stay ripped bare. to left. And that's just foul. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. What is it? Set pitch at bat. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Three up, three down for him there. We played two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Let's go, AB. Good battle. Busano. Wainwright back to work. Campusano in his second season, 24 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2017. Next offering is in for a strike. And a swing and a miss there. All right, we're going with the same pitch. All right, stinker in. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Jammed him. Next for the Padres, Tyler Malone. Malone getting ninth in today's lineup. And you look and like a baby up there. Quite a bit lately, scoring eight runs over the last ten games. First he must, offering. He must be a rookie. He must have been called up. I mean, you don't got really good power. Just that I'm seeing. Decent vision, decent contact. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Dude, look at him. He got a baby face. Got Sit down. Him swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat. And the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone. And as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect to Dang, everything was to on the edges. quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command. And it got him a punch out that time. Oh, crap. And here comes Sander Bogarts. That was your pitch, my man. Top of the third, no score. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Crap. On the ground to third. Arenado to first, in time. Right. 
And that is that. No runs, no hits, no errors. Let's get we some runs. Out of the home half of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. The pitch. Ball one there. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. The 1-0. And wow. now two and one. As a hitter, fastball. you got to learn something from that pitch. You clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2 0 count, you well, have to be ready to I didn't damage. Mean to, I didn't mean to check swing. On the ground to short. Bogarts with the throw to first. Ooh, good stretch. One gone, bottom of the third inning. No left field. And now it's Juan Yepes. Yepes goes six foot one, 200 pounds, and he was born in Venezuela. Swing and a foul straight back. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500 plus home runs, 3,000 plus hits, and a triple crown. Ooh. Hammer, base it. hit. So the one out hit turns the lineup over. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. 13 exit mile All he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Yeah, here comes Tommy Edmond. Walked to open the ball game. First pitch just misses. All right, he's in the league leaders with doubles. That one missed. Yepes over at first with one away. Ah, uh, he might throw it down. Yep. Line drive and a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second. Right, one out, gone. two on. Back to back Come on. singles. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. and such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Donovan in the box with one away as he takes ball one. He reached out a walk his first time. made that one look easy great feed to the shortstop shortstop completes the play they get out of a jam and they end the inning yeah the right hater back to work swing and a miss strike one Boog, over 80 percent of his first pitches are strikes if you're doing that you could have a really good day out there on the mound Slow roller up the middle. Over to Goldie. So. And a quick out number one. A good day on the mound. Juan Soto now. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Arenado. Oh, crap. 
and he beats it. He's safe. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. Runner on at first with one gone. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Matt Carpenter. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. Swing and a base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Soto around second, headed for third. Soto headed for the plate. The relay throw. It's off the mark, and he scores. And it's 1-0. Comes through with the RBI. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. I mean, the pitch was long. Adam Engel, the next up for the Padres. The pitch was. Are you kidding me? And a foul ball left side. How many innings ago we had a chance to score? Here comes the 0 1. And he lays down a bunt. And they tag him out. The batter I didn't understand why you bunt. He had one out. A runner in scoring position. Stepping in for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That's through there for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. The 0 2. He went. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. On this RBI double. It's now 1 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. No Nolan Arenado. Arenado. The pitch. To the right side, Kim. Fires over to first. And they get Arenado for the out. The first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. Grounded out his first time up. <laughs> Left field, way back, back there. That one's carrying. Oh, no, That's not. That's down. One hops off the wall. And the tying runs at second base with a double. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. High fastball, even a little above the zone, but such a good job of staying tall on the backside, getting that barrel there to meet it just in time. I'll tell you what, it's not easy to do. This is Dylan Carlson. He's 0 for 1. In there, and it's 0 and 1. We ain't swinging at the fastball, though. Since y'all don't know how to lift the pitch. Kicks and fires. Line drive. Makes the catch for the second out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to make it up for it in his next at-bat. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Yeah, the Found it out his first time. it in the air out 
towards left center. Grisham settles under it. And that ends the inning. So one left for the Cardinals, still behind by a count of one to nothing. The right-hander back to work. And that one wrapped foul. Strike two. Tapped softly on the ground. Gets it to first. That takes care of Grisham. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Yeah. So digging in now for San Diego, runs. Luis Campusano. 0 for 1 so far. Maybe in scoring position, we just get unlucky. And he hits a ground ball right side. Oh, sneaks you through be base kidding. head. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. One down. And now here is Tyler Malone. There's the strike. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Capusano leads off first with one away. Line drive, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Here's Xander Bogarts. Even though Bogarts, at the beginning of his career, signed with and then played for the Boston Red Sox, his favorite player growing up was Derek Jeter, and that's why he wore number two. One out, runners at first and second. Next offering misses, and the count is one and one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of the Capitalizing on these edges, pitches. Next one misses, and the count is even two and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Bro. Two on, one out. Swing and a ball popped up. So first and second with two outs. And now the DH, Alfonso Rivas. That wow. one's in there, 0 1. It's not the location I want that. Die in that spot. That's the third. Sends it across the first, and that is that. 
Didn't allow another run. Padres leave a pair, Still in this. But they hold a one nothing lead. In the game, all it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. And the first pitch misses for ball one. There's the strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Ball to strike. The pitch. Let's go. Base hit right field. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Let's go. Let's get height. And up next for St. Louis, Lars Newtbar. Grounded out to short this first trip. Snell keeping an eye on him. In there for strike one. It's all right, it's all right. We don't want that pitch. We want something straighter. Or unless that slider comes inside, we swing in. Left hand hitter waits. And ball one. In the air, outwards. Left center, touches down, that's a hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Couple of singles back to back. Pretty good fastball location. Down and in on the corner, but that was just a nice job to handle it and hit it hard. Very tough spot to get the barrel to most of the time, though. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Juan Yepes. One for one with a single so far. Pitch misses inside. One and oh. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score right, on that base hit. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Good hitters count the 2 0. Roll to short, could me. be two. Over to Kim. One. On to first double play. Appears they're working around him with the base open, singing. Well, you know, these 2 0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that, but ultimately, this is a strategic That should have been a pitch. You should have just took that pitch. If he was still in the hitter count. The in this situation. Which are not lifting in high fastball. Switch hitter batting right. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The 0 1. Good eye right there. So after the double play, he's trying to pick up his teammate and tie this game. That's hard hit in the line. He can't get Tied there. It's, it's a base hit. Runner from third comes Such across. Jeans We're in the building. One. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. If it's a hanging curve. He should have smoked that out of here. Brendan Donovan digs in Look now. That pitch was. That should have been a no doubt. Snap throw to first, hey, and he's back in safely. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow Let's left go. field. That Way one gets steal. down for a hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left field be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff, the base hit. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Uh, 
Arenado oh, up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. Activity in the bullpen for the Padres. Nick Martinez getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. And the 1 0. Got a good eye there. All right. This fastball low. I'm taking the pitch. Runners on first We're not and third. Two away. Line drive. We're gonna take a nap. No I trouble here. Out. Puts it away for the out. And that will end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. Goal even now at 1-1. One -one. You're dialed into the show. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. Deal two. Got check swing. Yep. Yeah, tries to hold up. Appeal to it first. Like I went. Did not go. Let's go. Righty to the plate. Wow. That's out to center field. And there's one away. Now that one. Underneath it. Back to the top of the lineup. And now, Tommy Edmond. Good contact guy, good defender. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. That hits the dirt. Ball one. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know, close holes that, you know, are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. You got to throw the fastball. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. And there's the strike. Boog, and the one thing about that is mm, speed that. never goes in a slump. And defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle. You can lose your mechanics. But the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that oh, way. Wow. And this is I what this guy you. does. Just realize you're two for two. The 3-1. And he walked him. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been oh, really man. patient at the play. The game Second plan that he's sticking to is just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Brendan Donovan, next up for the Cardinals. Now moved to first. Edmund hey. dives back in safely. Let's go. Base hit center field. And the go ahead run into score position. Again. Two one on. away. One out. It is really easy for some guys. Let's one go. thing that I can see already is that stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Arenado in the box now, takes strike one. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. On the ground, two ball. Slings to second. And still another double play. Their fourth tonight, inning over. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. in for a strike. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Josh Hader, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Wow. That one to first. Lays it out, out, but it out. can't squeeze it. Not in time. Great effort there, but now the go-ahead run is on at first.
don't know what why he throws to throw the ball. No outs. Runner at first. Here's the left fielder, Juan Yepes. That one's in there, 0 on one. You kidding me up? Now the one swings through wow. that one out in front that time. Man, he really sells the change up with that arm action. I got to sit back. He, he really don't throw that hard. The pitch. Got him swinging. Up next, 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 next. Now up for St. Nope, Louis, so Tommy Edmond. Right. He's two for two. But I might be. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Oh, and one now. Trying to bunt his way on. Throw to first Ooh. in time. They get him, safe. but it was pretty close. Brendan Donovan next up for the Cardinals. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Come on, Brandon. You can be the hero. And he pumps it a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Swing and a miss struck him out. situation you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout I think you attack him in this spot Gallegos back to work that's a strike double barreled action in the bullpen for San Diego Josh Hader getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin Garrett Check swing went around right. and it's 0-2. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Death. No. Now this pitch gets away. And he'll be safe at first. Stuck him and out with the wild pitch. No. He goes down to third. Well, you don't see it very often, but every once in a while, a guy strikes out and still somehow ends up safe on first. And when it happens, you kind of scratch your head. But I guess sometimes a pitch is so nasty, it makes everyone miss. Now they're going to have to get more than three outs in this inning. So runners at the corners, nobody out. And here's the first baseman, Luis Campusano. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Uh, plays at home. The 0-1. And that one fouled off. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next pitch is outside. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Next Swing offering the misses down and away. They tried to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite.
Righty delivers. Makes the catch. One down. Right. Potential double play here. Tyler Malone, the next up for the Padres. Well, there's a reason why he's at the bottom of the order, struggling as of late, but a knock here would be a huge lift for him and for his team. And that's too high. Home plate oh, umpires you try give to tighten things up a little bit. Next off for his team for a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals, and a swing and a miss. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Two on, one out. Cold strike three on the fastball. Come on. And that ran back over the inner half. A well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly nah, what you want to see corner. in a big spot like it, that. It and I'm the sure corner. there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. And yeah, the batter now, Jake Cronenworth. Ball one, no strikes. Two on, two outs. And now two and nothing. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Bro, man. And the right hater deals. And fouled off. Corners are occupied with two down. The other way, and a base hit right there. In comes the run from third. They take the lead, it's 2-1. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now the DH for the Padres, Alfonso Rivas. That's in for a strike. Squirts away a little bit, but no advance from the runners. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Gonna count one and two. Next Got pitch him. has popped up. And that's right, we the tie and win it. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and this is now a two one ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. trying to get the runner over yeah the way that we see the game played today though guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across they're really looking at doing damage uh -oh. slugging okay. is the name of the game where okay where did that that pitch just disappear and now the lefty late swing fouled off In the dirt, blocked over to Camposano, and they get Arenado for the out. Well, big power guy right there, and generating so much bat speed, it's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And now the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. 
Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Home team down a run. And the home team trying to pull it out. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in okay, and now. close out ball games for a win. How am I late? 0-2 now. And now 1-2. and two. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. That one lifted to left. Soto gets under it. Hauls it in, two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front now shoulder that coming that open instead of staying closed. Yeah. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. So digging in, Dylan Carlson. Trying to deliver as the hero. Just about gives his skipper a heart attack, but that's where he functions best. So the tying run at second. And downstairs. The 2 0 is okay. in for a strike. Wasn't sure ever wanted to swing or not. Donovan at second with two down. That's the third. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Padres strand the tying run on base to win it. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and okay. get out of here happy. It was a good game. final score here today, 2-1. was a good tense a game. A run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire good crew. Tense, extra job. inning game. So long. So many on base.